Norwich University, the nation's oldest private military college with a student body of 2,100 and over 30 academic majors, trains students to think critically and build a better world. I'm Eric Clements for Comcast Newsmakers at Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier. The president of Norwich University, Dr. Richard Schneider, joins Newsmakers now. Dr. Schneider, welcome to the program. Well, thanks to have me. Thanks All right, having first me. things first, tell us what makes Norwich University unique? Norwich is only uh, one of six senior military colleges in America, and we're the only private one, and we're the oldest senior military college in America. So uh, we have been training cadets to be of service to America as commissioned officers since 1819. Wow, that is, that is quite unique in, in itself. Norwich's founder, Captain uh, Alden Partridge, was passionate about the citizen-soldier model. Tell us, how does that inform the current student body today? Well, we're, we're carrying on that same tradition for almost 200 years. Our wow. 200th birthday is in 2019, so we're all very excited about right. that. Partridge was an academic visionary, Eric, and in fact, we're the 40th oldest school in America. All the other schools, other than the United States Military Academy, which was founded before we were, we were founded in their model, right. all of them were seminaries, preparing uh, men, basically, to be pastors. And... Um, we were the first school really to be very practical in our academic programs, but Partridge merged academic life with military training because he felt as a young republic that we needed every college person to know how to lead troops in time of war, but when we were not fighting, we were supposed to be building the economy. So he was teaching things that we needed to build the economy. Okay. Uh, Norwich is differentiated by a great leadership development program, you kind of touched on that in the last answer, which gives students real-world responsibilities. Are there examples that demonstrate the success of this program? Yeah, in fact, everything at Norwich is about leadership and service to others. I think the thing that sets my students apart from a lot of other students who are going to college to get a job, our students come to Norwich to serve whether in the United States military or as school teachers or doctors or what have you, but every one of our programs, Eric, either designs the republic, builds the republic, maintains the republic, or protects it. So our business model from 1819 has been, if we educate and train our students to protect the republic today, the republic will send us our best students, which is exactly what they do. And so we have 1,500 students in our cadet corps many of which, two-thirds of which, will become commissioned officers, leading our sons and daughters in the United States military. And 800 civilian students who want to be great doctors or lawyers or um, teachers, coaches, uh, cybersecurity people, all those elements make and defend our republic. Great. Uh, there's also an emphasis you touched on a little bit of service to others before self. Why is that philosophy so important? Well, it's always been a hallmark of the United States military that we are serving other people, not only our own people in the Republic, but when I was in Vietnam, for example, you know, we were also, in addition to defending people and, and fighting, we were rebuilding communities and hospitals and schools and things like that. Making the student understand that there's something much bigger out there that they can accomplish, not for themselves, but for others, that has been a hallmark of Norwich, and that's also a hallmark of the United States military. You touched on this a little bit earlier. Talk about a little more in depth about what sets Norwich University apart academically from most other schools. Well, we're, we are a university, a full service university, but we have a small college feel, Eric. Uh, we have 30 majors, which is a lot for a yeah. school our size, and a lot of sports programs, too, because we also say you have to be physically strong, and when you get hit, you got to learn to get back up again and keep playing. Right. And it's all about team. So we do a lot of leadership training athletically. Probably, uh, we are the first engineering school in America that provided a degree in civil engineering. But our strength right now is lined up with the threat to America. We're the second ranked school doing information assurance and cybersecurity for a little tiny school in Vermont. That's remarkable. But that's what we believe. In 1819, it, the threat was the red coats coming over the green hills of Vermont again, just right. like they had done in 1776. And, and now, today, we're getting attacked every day. Your network, our school, every bank, every mm -hmm. government agency is being attacked in cyber in some way. Right. And so we are educating and training students today to be cybersecurity people. So uh, those are some of the things that mm -hmm. set us apart. As Norwich is about to mark 200 years, as you spoke about a little bit earlier, tell us finally what lies ahead. I think a great future. I, we are not going to change course, Eric. We, we have been doing this 
for 200 years, and we are going to keep defending this republic, building it and maintaining it. Now, the threats will change, Eric. Mm -hmm. The threats for your kids and my kids or my grandchildren will be different than what we grew up with. Sure. But if we stay current and keep looking over the horizon, we're going to be educating wonderful leaders for the future. And that's what it's all about, continuation of that course. Dr. Schneider, thanks so much for being with us on Eric, the program. Eric, pleasure. All right, thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Eric Clemens. We'll see you next time.